And uh, Little Miss Quayote, uh, armpit fungus lady, um, she she has a ring with uh, that specific demon's insignia on it. So I would be super great if we just never went back there. That would be wonderful. Okay, good to know. We'll try to avoid her. Yeah, uh, this this is a spiteful, mean little demon. She, I, she's the worst. She she refuses to tell us what we need to do to get rid of this curse. Uh, and um, she is she is she has made me a slave. So just let let's never go back. Let's just never ever ever have anything to do with Quayote ever. Okay. Sounds Great. Th manageable. Thank you for being understanding. Normally, most people would probably want to throw me overboard at this point, but you're great. Thank you. Yeah, you I'm pretty chill. It. Yeah, it's not your fault. Don't you know, like, starts to, like <laughs> He starts to, like, tear up a little bit and uh, kind of brushes his head. I need to uh, go give, look at I'll zombie. give him a hug. Yeah. I'll give him a hug and a pat on the bat. It's all right. It's all right. He doesn't, like, return it, but, like, you feel him, like, ease up a little bit. One of the pirates. I was going to join in. Are you? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ramrod over here throw overboard. Pile. Ramrod over here throw overboard and perks up out of his hammock, and then realizes everybody's <laughs> everybody's just hugging and kind of just goes back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Wait. So Hoppy notices what's going on. So oh, Hoppy no! comes uh, over, like hugs the the group hug, and then one of his he's got like four tentacles. One comes over to Ramrod. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's gonna try to tentacle hug you. Do you want to resist, or are you gonna let it happen? Uh, he's sleeping, so he probably just won't resist. He's resting. Okay. So well, let it happen. You're awoken as the tentacle lifts you in the air and smushes you into the group. And, uh. <laughs> and then um, one of the pirates comes down. Let's see. Let's go with Punch. He's a good boy, Hoppy. Punchin Pearl Smitty. And she kind of like sees you all hugging. She says, can, can I? She kind of walks over like, oh, can I? So we'll put yeah. her arm out and be like, join us, friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, she gives you a hug. She's like, my mother never hugged me. I just wanted to see what it's like. <laughs> That's why I punch people all the time. <laughs> Oh. As close as I can get to hugging. <laughs> I feel like I have to punch somebody right now. Zavagor lets out a big laugh and says, Oh, you're all terrible, horrible creatures. Come in, come in. And, and he starts hugging you back. <gasps> Ramrod, she tries to punch, <gasps> punch you, but rolls a one. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I was hoping for Jim Crank. It's got stubble. Uh, is it, um, uh, what's his name? It's Ladarius? It is. He looks at you guys and goes, Oh! I didn't know you guys were here. And he walks over. What are you guys doing Welcome. here? Well, regaling stories of, uh... You know, it's no hard feelings about the, uh, race. Oh, oh, yeah. Nope. You didn't ask me what I'm doing. About, here. I was just gonna say, What's your story? Ladarius. Oh, um. What's my story? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can you ask me. <clears throat> I want you to ask me something else. Ask me. What are you doing here? Go ahead. <laughs> Alright. What are you what doing here? What are you here? doing here? We all say it in, in unison. And, and Val also asks Is Jim, Did Jim Crank get out of that mud pit yet? He goes. <laughs> So you ask him, what are you doing here? And he goes, just viping. <clears throat> Ramrod yells back and says, Baker, Ramrod wrong. Your story not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, she sees that the jig, like, the jig is up. And she kind of, mm -hmm. you know, freezes and kind of starts taking the long way around you guys to get out. <laughs> Val is going to call out, hey, Deirdre, she turns. tell Jim Crank to go back to his mud pit. Nice. <laughs> she looks at her like over laughs at that. Like, yeah! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> she tells him, 
to go back to his... Alright, she's going to try to come up with a comeback. It's the only place dirty enough for him. I'm going to walk... Okay, she's really trying to think of something to say back. ...and order a spiced ale. Um, <laughs> we're all just staring at her while she's sitting there, like, intensely thinking about this. <laughs> so she says... Um, What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's over. We're all oh, bar goes, her, just ah! And she just, like, covers her face and runs out. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Val! <laughs> Uh, all or something. Okay. okay. Uh, do we have anything to put the fire out? I'm I have very good at making frost fire. If you, need. Hmm? you have what? I have ray of frost. Oh. Okay. That could work. I'll cast ray of frost and right. try and. You hit it with frost, fire and the fire goes out. It's starting again, but it reveals a blackened skull sitting in there. Ramrod runs in and grabs it. Okay. It was hot, but now it's kind of icy. So you grab it. Psh. Okay, you got the skull. Snatch it and run out. Yep. Okay. Okay. And when, okay. You, when you take the skull, the wall on the far side of this room, you hear clicking noises and sliding. The wall shifts, but Fuck. it doesn't slide open, the back wall. Uh, okay. So, there's, so we've unlocked, like, one bolt in it. Great. Everyone, could... pick a piece of body and go throw it on an altar. This is what we're doing tonight. <laughs> Alright, well, okay, we, we're going to have to stop there. Uh, so, uh, we'll, we'll pick it up on episode four, where we'll be wearing different yeah. clothes. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, maybe right. the same. Maybe. This is my uniform, man. Yes. Yeah. 